Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. It's Inter, they face Juventus and it's live next on EA TV. Hello everyone. Well, our venue today is a true football monument. I'm talking, of course, about the San Siro. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And the focus is very much on Serie A, the top division here in Italy. It's Inter up against Juventus. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. And this is how it looks for Inter. Milan Skriniar plays alongside Alessandro Bastoni in central defence. Hendrik Mkhitaryan plays alongside Nicolo Barella in the centre of midfield. And leading the attack today, Lautaro Martinez plays alongside Edin Dzeko. And the old lady of Italian football going with this starting 11. Wojciech Szczesny stands between the posts. Philip Kostic plays with Juan Cuadrado in the wide positions. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. And now they get the ball rolling. Well, racing past his man. Well, defending always has to be a team effort. Good piece of covering. Could be. And a goal to open the scoring. A very bright start to this one. Well, let's look at that again. I'm almost lost for words here, Derek. It's really sloppy defending. You can't be giving the ball away in such a dangerous area like that and not expect to get punished. It's just really poor. to restart the game it's going to be interesting to see how they reply to that setback Mkhitaryan it's with Chalanolu back to Mkhitaryan Barella Dzeko can he get them level real defensive resilience And take it away. Skriniar. And the referee blows for a foul.
Dzeko now with Martinez and still they wait for the chance no problems grabbing hold of that one Rabiot Di Maria he takes aim well credit to him for trying it didn't miss by much Well, a good place to win it back, and let's see what it leads to. Spot on with that tackle. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. It's going to be a free kick for Juventus. Hendrik Mkhitaryan. Bastoni. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Dzeko they were playing fluent football but then the foul and now you would anticipate a yellow card well he's gone into the referee's notebook and he can't be surprised that was a poor challenge you have to say back underway following the equaliser into the advanced position but nothing comes of it Juventus keep possession and it's positive possession. What can they do from this position? Mkhitaryan. Back to Dzeko. Barella. It's with Chalanolu. Disappointing pass. Vlahovic. Hendrik Mkhitaryan using all his defensive acumen to cut it out Quadrado it's a good inter move in the making well the supporters think it's on well read to ease the pressure
Martinez. On to Dzeko. Now just the tackle that was needed. Locatelli. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Oh, he looks threatening. Real chance. And the keeper more than equal to the task. Well, this could be a chance for Juventus to take the lead. They have a corner. Delivering it. And the danger's still on. Well, you've got to classify that as a poor attempt. A long way wide. Well, from back to front, Juventus have been very good, but their finishing has been poor. They really should be out of sight by now. Oh, big chance! Can he find the net? Superb block. And the short option preferred. Convert. Magnificent defending. Barella. It's with Milan Skriniar. Chalanolu. Di Marco. It's with Chalanolu. Martinez. Can they forge ahead? No! Chance missed! And a big chance at that, Derek. He should have put them in the driving seat there. Locatelli. Now Rabio. Well, that's going to be all for the first half here at the San Siro. Well, he was one of the main protagonists in the first half, Hakan Chalanolu. What did you make of his contribution? Well, they weren't at their best, but with that equaliser, you can see why he's so important to this team. Hopefully they can get more of the ball to him in the second half, so he can show... And as the second half commences, both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched. Martinez and a good challenge to bring that attack to an end Vlahovic well no stopping him oh that's textbook goalkeeping they take it short this looks promising Simple catch, really. An example of how to press. Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Martinez! It's gone in! And well, he might celebrate on the back of that! Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And the finish is clinical. He just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the score. What's going to happen next? A Juve free kick here. Good technique displayed. Able to get a body in the way. Henrik Mkhitaryan. The ball with Martinez. Martinez 
Can he open the door to a potential goal? But they dealt with the threat posed. Mkhitaryan being egged on by the crowd. Barella. Can he make it count? Couldn't grab hold of it. And thumped away. Well, Chesney has just kept his team in it there. They aren't playing well, but that might just... Oh, the chance is on, Stewart. Must be. Oh, a smart stop. Double substitution for Juventus. Over it comes. And really meat and drink to the keeper under the circumstances. Radio. Di Maria. Pogba has it. Hendrik Mikitarian. Well, a good tackle. Dusan Vlahovic. Can he find the net? Well, very effective goalkeeping to touch it over. Well, an opportunity from the corner to get right back into this one. Playing it short. Very quick thinking there. On another corner, hot on the heels of the last one. It's a short one. And a very good challenge. Dzeko. Varela. It's with Milan Skriniar. Well, keeping hold of the ball is what it's all about for them. Damian. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Locatelli. Now Rabio. Di Maria. He must finish! Now well, putting it wide from there, disappointing. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Just 15 minutes remaining. Plenty of support here. And he's made headway. Surely. In the opinion of the referee, that is a penalty. Well, no card handed out. He gets away with a rebuke. Well, a lot of referees would have booked him there. But I'm with him on this one. No yellow card for me. An opportunity to level matters. And the penalty is converted. I don't think anyone really questioned him. Well, as you can see, the keeper dives one way and the ball goes down the middle. It's a very good penalty. So, back underway. The game having been squared at 2-2. Dzeko. He read the situation defensively and did his job. The referee has let the advantage accrue to Juventus. Danilo. Bremer. Just 10 minutes remaining here. Good work from Inter to win it back. Oh, terrific pass. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. And it's come off the keeper. And there it is. 
an almost intuitive piece of finishing. Well, as you can see, the first save is a good one, but they can't react quickly enough to the second ball. The keeper's a bit unlucky, really. A big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? That's a very fine piece of tackling. Oh, managing to beat him. Opportunity! Well, he went for power and might be regretting that now. Double substitution for Juventus. That is how to apply the pressure. Disappointing pass on the attack in the closing phase. A oh, poor from the keeper. Under pressure. Now the keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger. And the referee has deemed that an additional four minutes are in order. A no chance for him to get in behind, maybe. Barella. This could finish it. Oh, a smart save. And that keeps them in with a chance. Well, there's still a bit of time left. Can this inspire them to go and get the equaliser? Brozovic taking... And they deal with the threat this time. Barella. And that will do it. The referee brings this match to an end. Inter entitled to be happy about this because they picked up maximum points from this game. What did you make of it? Yes, Derek. Well, it could have gone either way, couldn't it? It was so competitive for much of the game, but they kept pushing, kept believing, and probably deserved the winner in the end. A great result. I always think that Edin Dzeko is a master craftsman, as strikers go. How would you sum up what he produced? Yeah, he deserved to score the winner today because he was a real handful. He's running off the ball, and awareness of space were excellent. Very impressive.